James Hatfield version there. Yeah! Blame it on the radar. I thought you were going to sing it. You talking to mine? Yeah, yeah. You said you'd get it to Easter. A what? Did you say something about Easter? Said no, oh, yeah. fine. MC, Music Choice plays this song all the time. Oh, yeah? I really like Music Choice, but I feel like they're, they're killing the Noe Vanilla. What channel is that? Because I'm a channel 442 guy. Uh, Millie Vanilli would be on the 80s channel, then okay. I listen to the 90s channel, and then I'll listen to the... No. What the... You know why? Blame it on something. <laughs> you know what? Motherfucking blame it on the end! I just had this at 45. Rain on the Blame it on the stars that shine at night. Whatever you do, don't, don't put ever the blame on you. What? Blame it on the rain. Yeah. Well, that's a way to start a week here. Welcome back from the weekend, everybody. Well, you would never want to step in well, poo, we had a good you? holiday weekend. Yeah, welcome back from Memorial Weekend. You would never want to step in poo. No, that's true. No. I don't, I don't. I've I'm never not. one time stepped in poo and thought, huh. Glad that happened. Actually, Actually, they say if a bird shits on you, that's good luck. Good luck, yep. So well, what is it if you step in like a uh, horse shit? Great luck. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's great luck. So much luck that you couldn't miss a horse shit. It's a huge pile of horse shit. Think about it. The horse had to be comfortable enough to shit there, and they're not comfortable everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so you know that you've stepped in a magical place where a horse felt really comfortable. Or just where it was walking. <laughs> Have you ever been on a horse before? No. They did, they I tried shit. I tried one. You never get behind somebody in a horse because that person, the, that front horse, always shits on me. The All worst right. part is how your inner thighs feel when you're done riding a horse. That is the worst. Now the girls say that would be the best feeling. It's the worst. You two. You two. What? You two in your thighs. What's your problem? <clears throat> All right, welcome back and uh, welcome to Fisher and Cage, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you uh, joining us live for those of you who are. Uh, if you <laughs> want, for the seven of you who are. Bob, our producer. Quote, do they know they're live? <laughs> <laughs> we're so comfortable with what we do around here that just it's wait just, till I shit. Just seems so natural that you're that's wondering. Why you're real comfortable. I think yeah. Bob was waiting for this. That's why. Hold on, wait. I put the music up. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, he was definitely waiting for the weekend update news. I like the Millie Vanilli better. And welcome back. <laughs> oh, today yeah. on the show, we're going to talk about Obama. We have Fish. Jeffrey Davis, who wrote a book about how to lose weight in one weekend. Speaking of losing weight, I think somebody in our own studio has lost a little weight. Eddie! Everybody, he's lost 15, 15 pounds. pounds! Make some noise! So nice, thank you. Thank you. Good job, Eddie. Thank you. And it's funny you bring that up because yesterday I'm at my uh, girlfriend's house up in Lando Lakes, and so her mom puts on her Monday morning routine, and I noticed... Oh, I was hoping it was something else. <clears throat> And uh, in which was one of those Good Morning No, the one that's on Channel 8. Uh, whichever one that one is. Matt Lauer. Oh, like one of the national yeah, ones? Yeah, you know, Good Morning America. You know, one of those. Yeah, one of the national ones. Yeah. So, um, well, they were all working for... Oh, never mind. Uh, it's the one with Kelly Kelly and uh, Mike. Oh, yeah, I believe it's called Kelly and Mike. Kelly, that's a, <laughs> you know, there's that show. Um, two people. <laughs> so, uh, I guess that was a little bit later on. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I've been doing, everybody was working, you know, like Matt Lauer was in doing his thing, you know, all the Monday morning Welcome. Shows, all the Monday. The AOL guy was out in the street right. corner working it. <laughs> no, this is his first day back. He was off for, he had a three-day weekend. <laughs> because nobody uses AOL. I do. Nobody uses AOL. I didn't even know they are still around. Yeah, I, he, he got a, you don't get the disc? He got a new compact disc in the mail the other day. Sign up for 300 free hours. <laughs> Look, I actually have the full on, I use the full on program. Like the instant messenger so you can pick up chicks. Oh, yeah, I don't use instant messenger. I don't even think these people on my list are on here anymore. Well, no, they were 13 when you met them. <laughs> do you remember your original screen name? The first screen name you ever had? And do you still have it? Uh, the first screen name I ever had would have been, I made an account for my mom. Okay. Again, this is like right. You know, you so you were fishing. Fish. So you would pose as your mother online, right? And my mom, <laughs> uh, you know, she she was a baby doctor, a baby nurse. So okay. she would. So I'm, I'm getting all these pregnant chicks to send me pictures of their right, right. Their, 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 their gaping hoo ha. <laughs> 
So the first. Yep, she's crowning. <laughs> she's definitely crowning. So the first username you had then was Clinic Head for your mom. Yeah. Clinic you Head. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. She was a nurse. I'm like, well, what can I do? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, but she had, had it AOL. I would imagine. Yeah. She had head in her. I just feel like it's a bad idea that I've said that because she probably still has the account. I mean, that's probably all she's ever used. Let's see. Let's well. try to instant message her right now. You do not instant message my mother. Send an IM to clinic. Hey, head. remember we were talking about family in the car before? I can try, can I? Sure. No? Is it spelled? You're, you're not going <clears> to <throat> instant message my mom. Is it spelled funky or anything? Or? Yes. I, I don't know the spelling of it. It's very funky. You're not instant messaging my mom. Okay, I won't instant message your mom. I'm gonna I'm gonna text your wife. No, you're not. Oh, see, it's it's fine. It's fine now. It's not one is not good for the goose and or the gander. No, that's not the same. So how was your weekend? I don't care. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, Did you I do just, anything? Because uh, we got a, an email uh, over the weekend from our, <clears throat> our brand manager Johnny, and he's like, "Hey man, you know, on Monday, make sure you guys post a video, you know, saying something for Memorial Day and whatnot." Right, and right. Uh, and at the time, I you know, I I was like, "Yeah, that's a good idea." But in my in my head, it wasn't a good idea. Well, I, I immediately <clears throat> responded because first off, I called a, you know, the moratorium for the weekend. I'm like, we're not working this weekend. Right. We're going to actually take an entire <clears throat> weekend off. And what we mean by not working was really turn it off too. It's yeah, like, it's not like like you know we're working, but I'll be on my cell phone. No, no it was like, hey, let's not talk about work for two days. We had a great gig at Forward Glass yep. on Saturday. Yeah. And after that gig, we had the conversation. We we're going to go out to dinner. Johnny got the shit, so he couldn't go. So we all went out to dinner. And it was, look, we're not going to work. You know, Sunday and Monday, you know, do what you need to do. Right. Uh, but we're not going to, you know, we're not going to work. So then, so, you're right, we got the, the email that we should put a video together. And immediately in my head, I'm like, yeah. I, I feel like it's, for us just to get together on money to do that video, if you listen to the radio at all over the weekend or watch TV, it just seems like a lot of it is forced and contrived. just very contrived. Right. Um, now, now listen, I appreciate anybody and everybody, even if it was contrived, you know, it didn't come off as natural. Right. If, if you are putting something out there that says, you know, wish the best of the troops or... Right. For Memorial Day. Memori you know, whatever. That's huge. I'm not taking away any... Vastly important day. I mean, that's a huge... It's a day... Now, there's a lot of people when they get so upset, they're like, well, remember, it's not about barbecues and beaches and... You're right. It's about both. It's about both. It, it, this because is... the barbecue and the beaches and those freedoms that we can have on a Monday, yes. where we don't, yes. most a lot of us don't have to go to work. Right. And and what it should be is during those beach and barbecue times is moments of reflection. Yes. Of moments of re appreciation. Going the reason I can do this today. The we, right. reason I can go down to a beach with my family right. and just chill and not worry about anybody with machine guns coming over the hill or this happening or that happening is because of the sacrifices of people, you know, uh, our ancestors and, and people for, modern day. Right, for our freedoms. Right, right. So, so with that. It just seemed it was very, I don't know if you saw those, there were some people on Facebook and I, and again, I'm not taking away from the day at all because it, it I made it a point, the first thing on my, on my Facebook page to get up and, you know, thank the troops, past, present, future. You know, making sure that, you know, thank you that I have a day, that I, I can do this. Thank you for having the balls and the massive ovaries to do what you do so I can do this. Right. And one of the reasons so, why I didn't put out a, any kind of a video that was a, this official, you know, right. anything, was because I, for me, it's, it's, because uh, I'm weird and it's going to, it would turn into a bigger discussion. I would turn it into politics and remember this and remember that. I'm like, no, 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 no this, let's just, I'll, you know. Well, that I'll, I'll to the root of the reason I didn't want to film a video with you yesterday. Because <laughs> yeah. you knew it would turn, you know, you knew well, it would I've got my proudly endorsed Bud Light in one hand and I'm like, yeah. happy Memorial Day. You know, you know, think about the troops and you're like, well, Obama and we're, you know, it's no, the same time Obama's like, been brought up in, in one segment. I don't know that's ever happened before. I, I, as people go out of their way to thank the troops hmm? for those <clears throat> who know enough uh, service men and women, yeah. Um, they would immediately deflect that. Right. So Memorial Day to me is really about the reflection of those who paid the ultimate price, who died. Those who are serving, every time that they're out in public, there should be an accolade, every yes. the thank you, a praise, Veterans Day, any other you know days like that. Memorial Day to me is, I, I, I don't think, and it's because we don't like to focus on death. I think uh, it's just such an uncomfortable thing because then you have to think about your own death that you want to start off with happy Memorial Day to all those who lost and then turn it to, to those that are living and go and giving right. words of encouragement to the living, which I understand. But, that's a, that, but there's nothing wrong with Not that. It's Not making sure because you're using this day as a day to remember and then I use it as a reminder to thank our troops and thank, 
Look, I am one of those guys, this goes back to the holding the door uh, episode a few weeks ago where you know you wait and you get stuck, you're the guy holding the door. Right. And, and I like to make sure I go out of my way to do certain things. And if I see um, somebody who's you know uh, in the armed forces, it, I'll go out of my way to go shake that person's hand. Um, I do the same thing for the police. Um, when I'm downtown, if we're doing, if we're at like First Friday or something, and we walk by and there's the, the cops and the horses and stuff, we'll walk by and... Like I'll, the high five the horses? I don't, they don't like You, you, never, don't, like you don't raise your hand they at don't a horse. Like they don't like that. Because then see. they're not going to shit because they won't be comfortable. Do you know what they, right back to the beginning of this conversation. You, you know what they love, Apparently, though? At least the turkey's done. It's not me. <laughs> you know what they love, though? Is when, <laughs> is when, you, when you jump out at out them like this. <laughs> Horses don't, love that one. Oh, I thought you meant the cops. I'm like, that's a bad <laughs> idea all the way around. Stop. <laughs> None of those are good ideas. But we used to do a, a, a Cage Colt Appreciation Day and a Cage Colt uh, First Responders Appreciation Day where it was your job to go out and, make, and, and um, take a picture of yourself, uh, you know, if, if you wanted to be on the Facebook part, you know, shaking a cop's hand, a firefighter, a paramedic. Um, or if you don't need that kind of accolade, then just do something. Now, on that day, and I always made sure that I would go out, and I never even said this on the air, I would just go and I would, if I was in a restaurant and there was a first responder there, I would just, I'd just pick up their meal. You know, that before, yep. You know, and just, but you can use these days, like Memorial Day, yeah, there's the, 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 the guys and the ladies who have given their life for this country, and that's very important to focus on. Um, and, and for me, it's, it's admirable, it's respectful, or, mm -hmm. uh, respectable because I don't know that I could do it. There's no way I can do it. Um, That's what she said. You know, the, the patriotism, the belief in w whatever it is America means to you, um, I, I have a, I just, it's hard for me. I'm, I seem like I'm kind of a pacif uh, pacifist, you know? And so it's hard for me. That whole war concept is very hard for me. No, I just uh, don't have the balls to go to war. <laughs> I mean, that's quite not. frankly, I, I don't. Um, I don't have the balls. You know, I've got a gun. I'm not in a desert shooting at right. people or have being shot at. If this was you know, 2000, you know, in 2001, if, uh, if our government said, hey, everybody, uh, you know, w let's do this. We need everybody involved. I'd been right in, you know, with everybody else. But once the dust settles a little bit, I'm like, ah. And it's not that I'm afraid to get shot at or, or any of those things. It's you're just not, about- You're not afraid to get shot okay. at. Okay. Wow, you are a ballsy gentleman. Those, right. That is, you have a, no, hold on, hold on. that's a real deal. It's not that I'm afraid to sacrifice for something I believe in, Sure. okay? It's not that I'm afraid to take a bullet for something I believe in. Right. It's just, it's just hard, man. The geopolitics of war, and we don't need to get into, you know, it's just hard for me to go, no, this is the, what we're doing every time we're fighting, every time we're going to war, it's because of a great cause, and it's because we're good, and, and we're trying to do good for America. And I, and I know there's that, but I also know there's the, well, there's there's the business are, side of things. But, but and, and there's, I, I believe that our, a lot of people in the military understand that. And, you know, and, guys, and, and you know, I feel sometimes they know that that it's for the ultimate freedom. It's for the you know they're going to look at it as an umbrella cause, which I can respect that yes, as well. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That that's something. I again, I just don't have the balls to be in a foxhole and you know be shot so, at. That's not my you know. Because I'd be sitting in the foxhole going, "What's the other guy thinking in the other foxhole?" You know what? He's probably just like me. He's right. Da, 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 da. I mean, hey guys, you know what? We should probably just. <laughs> Right. That was me getting which, shot up, by the way. Which is why you With should a, never go to war. You'd be terrible <laughs> yeah. at it. <laughs> I'd be the first one dead. As soon as you're like, all right, we got this battle to fight. I'm like, hold on, I've got this, guys. Um, hey, someone from over there, come over here. Let's talk this out. Bop, 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 bop. You got the white flag up in front of you. Come on, let's just talk for oh, a no, second. We can figure this out. You humans in the <laughs> other foxhole. <laughs> uh, and then on top of that, for those who uh, have gone over and come back and have uh, still still dealing with um, you know all the things you you know you come back with the PTSD and you know the physical ailments and the non-physical ailments the obvious ones and the not obvious ones well you know, and that's that's something that I could really get political on is the way our troops are treated when they yep. come home yep. and the lack of support system that's actually there for them children you know 18 19 20 years old you're, you've seen things that you and I could never imagine no. actually seeing live no. and and to come home and not have the proper treatment from our country, from right. our government, who sent them over to right. do this. Thanks for giving everything. Now uh, go sit in a corner for a while and it's 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 sad. And don't bother anybody. So that something has to be done about that. And listen, that's a show. Mm -hmm. That's an entire show. We can right. talk about that. But other than that, you know, a great weekend, a very positive weekend all around. Yeah. You know, a lot of family stuff, uh, girlfriend stuff. Uh, Amigo the Devil, Amigo the Devil. This dude. 
um, this great band. Uh, we hung out on Saturday night. Okay. Uh, Sunday night. My whole weekend's screwed up because it's really Monday right now. Uh, Sunday night, we all hung out. We went, uh, actually, me and Matt uh, from NXT, Matt yep. Huno, yep. Uh, his wife Amy, the family, done. our families, AOL's files were there. It was fantastic. <laughs> I do miss um, all the little sound files, though. But Amigo the Devil, at Amigo the <clears throat> Devil on Twitter. Uh, also, if you're my friend on Facebook, I put Amigo the Devil. Just go check it out. This dude is, it's folky, it's Cassius, Cassius, Cassius. Like Johnny Cashy. Okay. Uh, he's, he's, he's not exactly, but it's just these tones of these of these uh, amazing voices that he has, <coughs> and it is actually. I'll, Excuse me. Let me go to Omega the Devil right now. Can I play the it? Way, uh, if yeah, it's on. Go to my Facebook page. It's on there. But Amigo the Devil. Sunday Fun Day. Uh, nope. That's the not gents. It. The the genre is murder folk. Murder folk. Yep. And it it <laughs> it's great. it is. Disturbing. Does he murder and anybody? Beautiful. Um, and I, I need you to check it out. It's Amigo the Devil. Go to and like Amigo the Devil. And so you hung out, and then you got and he took your soul. And, and then and then we he, we did some karaoke, and he got up there and did Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball, and it was ridiculous because it was incredibly passionate. He looks scary <laughs> he was in this picture. Sure. He's and awesome. I, and I do know, and I know that I had a good weekend. Because I, I made it to work today with a sprained ankle, <coughs> but I have no idea at what point of my weekend I sprained my ankle. But it's, it's a nice, you know, nothing too, too bad, but a nice sprain. And I know it was a drinking accident, but I couldn't tell you, if, you know, what point of my weekend. No, no. What do you you're right, I don't. It, I, you, somebody could have snuck in in the middle of the night and just twisted my ankle and snuck back out. I don't, you're right, Kathy I don't. Bates style. Yeah, I don't know. Are you a doctor now? Oh, no, I don't. So no, how, do you, how do you know you sprained your ankle? Because you possibly could have not have sprained your ankle. You could have twisted your ankle. You could have done some damage to the inner cartilage in it. There's different things you could have done besides just spraining an ankle. That's not the beginning of diabetes, is it? I think that's just a lazy... That's where it starts. <laughs> that's a lazy diagnosis is what I'm trying to get at. Well, so everybody, when they hurt their ankle, they say it's a sprained ankle. Everybody just says, oh, I sprained my ankle. No, you didn't. You didn't sprain is sprain a specific... Man, I'm, I am not even going to finish that question. If you sprain your ankle... Because you're just going to make shit up. No, I didn't. Here's the thing. My ankle hurts, a little swollen, feels like, you know, a traditional sprain. I'm going with sprain on this no, you, one. you twisted it. Okay. I twisted it. Well, sprain just No, he may very well have sprained it. Sprain just sounds more dramatic. the same thing. If I said if to I you... If I twist the ankle, a sprain results from the twisting of the and ankle. And we all know you don't crumple the newspaper, you twist it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You don't twist sprain. It. Great outdoors. If, I said, if anybody got that reference, <laughs> oh, I, twist, I owe you a high five. I twisted my MCL in my knee. No, I didn't. I fucking banged my knee on something and I got a bump. Okay. Oh, Ed, blow it out your ass. And while you're at it, why don't you blow the whole family out your ass? Was that also great outdoors? <clears throat> Files done. I got mail. <laughs> to the new age. Featuring Cage.